multi-million dollar golf course play in Forest City Park has some in the community up in arms. WDSU reporter Susan Isaacs talked with one local organization who says they'll do whatever they can to keep the greens a place for everyone. More than 100 people are here at City Park today to protest the $24.5 million golf course. family, pets, and even a live brass band gathered with the City Park for Everyone Coalition along Harrison Avenue in City Park today to protest the $24.5 million golf course. Instead, they want to keep it a green space, free to all. Emily Schumacher stands with the coalition. She utilizes the green space by bringing her students and teaching them about Mother Nature. And we'll go through the paths and we'll identify different things on the golf course and we'll play like nature games where we'll get different points for how many animals they can sight. Construction has already begun on the golf course, but this group says that won't stop them from fighting for what they believe in. Never doubt that a small group of dedicated people can change the world. We believe that just because there's this huge pressure of corporate interest bearing down on us, we are still citizens, we still have rights, and we are passionate about making this change. So this green space was the former footprint for the east and west courses of the City Park Golf Complex, but that flooded during Hurricane Katrina, and it's been uninhabited ever since. We've reached out to City Park officials about this event today. They have yet to respond. If you would like more information on this group gathered here today, you can visit their Facebook page, City Park for Everyone Coalition. On your site at City Park, Susan Isaacs, WDSU News.